Well, thanks, Scott, and good to see you in the afternoon here on the overtime. Um, you know, the crux of the analyst position is the stock is trading where it was trading at, at the heart of the pandemic two years ago. Same exact level. And if we think about it, at that point in time, air traffic was down 90 percent, nine zero percent. Now we're within 10 percent of 2019 levels. And, you know, we're generating at Delta's case one point six billion in free cash flow in one quarter. And the analyst rightly says, what's going on here? And I think the simple answer is, you know, what if you threw a recession and nobody came? Um, the stock is trading as most airlines and travel and leisure stocks are trading. It's trading at a recession level. But there's a lot of indications, including CEO comments over the last few days that indicate there's no recession in the near term. Yeah, but it's trading at a recession level at a time where travel is booming. Literally booming. I mean, you're the one who tells us about that every single day. So why is the stock trading at a recession level when business hasn't been better in years? Yeah, and, and I think the answer is simply people really have bought into the negativity of this is going to be a big recession. Um, you know, I think it was I think it was pictured very nicely by Surratt and Steve today. Surratt was getting very spicy with Weiss. I like to see it. Um, you know, on the one hand, you've got Steve saying we're going to have a recession. We're going to have a recession. Air demand is going to go down. On the other hand, you have Surratt, myself and Ed Bastian, the CEO of Delta, saying, look, the consumer is strong and the demand from consumers is strong. While at the same time, and this is Mr. Bastian saying that international and business travel is now picking up which is great for the airlines. Again, yeah. I say rhetorically, what if you had a recession and nobody showed up? And I'm going to leave it rhetorically because everybody's got their own answer to that. 15 seconds and I got to go. The Boeing order is uh, news in and of itself for you because you own Boeing too. Just give me a quick thought on that. Yeah, stock was up, I think, about 5% before it trailed off with the rest of the day. What I really want to see is 787 deliveries approved by the FAA. Uh, the head of commercial aircraft says we're in the ninth inning of that, so it should be any day.